My name is Rachel Grant. I'm a partner in Brodie's Commercial Litigation Department specialising in corporate restructuring and insolvency. I'm also an accredited mediator and I carry out mediations on a regular basis and also represent clients at mediation. Mediation is a way of resolving a dispute without going to court. It sits between informal negotiations between parties and the more formal court process. The mediator is an independent, neutral person who facilitates discussion between the parties and helps them reach a resolution. Well, the key aspects of mediation are first of all that it's a voluntary process. The parties come together because they want to try and resolve their dispute. It's confidential, which is very important. It means that sensitive issues uh, involving maybe commercially sensitive information or reputational matters can be discussed and resolved um, out with the public eye. It's a process that's driven by the parties themselves. They reach a decision that suits them. They don't have a decision imposed by a third party as happens in a court or in arbitration. The independent mediator is independent, doesn't take sides and just facilitates uh, the parties reaching agreement. And the process is also tends to be quicker and therefore tends to be cheaper certainly than court procedure. Success rate is between 75 and 85 percent which is pretty good so it certainly makes commercial sense. Mediation can be used um, generally to resolve any dispute from the big a multi-million pound commercial dispute to small tradesmen, supplier disputes, family disputes, corporate disputes, really anything. It can also be used at any stage in a dispute and what we would do is we would work with the client to see when and if mediation would be appropriate. But once parties have decided that they want to mediate, they appoint the mediator and the mediator gets down to work right away. The mediator will contact the parties, ask them to produce a summary of the issues and start thinking about how they might try to resolve matters. Um, usually starts off with the parties coming together and actually representing or speaking to each other and explaining what the issues are and how they um, see the possible resolutions and it can be a flow between joint meetings, separate meetings until hopefully a resolution is reached. Once a resolution is reached the mediator will document that decision. You need to undergo formal training to be a mediator and you then need to be accredited by one of the mediation bodies. If you have an experienced mediator, someone who's properly trained, that can greatly enhance your chances of success at a mediation. <laughs>